Welcome back, welcome back to Math Party people. If you're excited about this video, so am I. Because simple interest and compound interest are a very important topic when it comes to any sort of exam that includes math and percentages. So, we're gonna start off here in this video with simple interest. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs and the secret to getting these problems done pretty dang quickly. And then in the next video, you're gonna see coming up, um, it's gonna be compound interest. Simple interest and compound interest are two completely different topics that we need to make sure we know the difference between. So with that said, let's dive on in here and let's understand the topic. So number one, what we need to do here is again, use simple interest to find the ending balance. Now, very quickly before we even begin, this is very important, so put your pencils down, pay attention to me. So here's what interest is. Interest is pretty much the money that you earn over time from investing. That's pretty much it. So for example, if we're talking here about simple interest, simple interest means that, hey, look, let's say I put in $1,000 into some investment account, okay? I put $1,000 in. Now, simple interest means that I'm only ever earning money on that $1,000. That's it. I don't earn any extra money um, for the money that I earn. Compound interest does that. So think about it like this. Simple interest is simple. You only earn money based off of what you put in. Compound interest is compounding, compounding, stacking on top of itself. Compound interest means that the money that you put in, you earn interest off of that. And then the new amount that you have, so like let's say you earn 10 bucks. Oh, now I have $1,010. Now I earn interest off of all of that. Boom, now let's say I have $1,021. Boom, I earn interest off of that now because it stacks on top of itself. Simple interest though, it is simple. If you earn $5 in interest in year one, you'll earn $5 in year two, $5 in year three, because it's simple. You're only earning off of the original amount. So write this down and we're gonna get started on these practice problems here. So simple interest. So I'm gonna write this down then I'm gonna delete it. Simple interest. You're going to basically only earning on the original amount. Only earning on the original amount. All right. Only earning on the original amount. Compound interest, it stacks, it compounds on itself. Compound interest, you earn. Did I put a double E there? You earn interest on interest. So basically what you earn counts to what you will earn eventually. It all stacks on top of each other. So write that down. It's super simple. I didn't include any crazy math in there. It's just the basic principle, the basic idea. You gotta have that down. And so now what we'll do is delete all of that. And uh, let's go ahead and show you what it means here for simple interest. So here it says, we wanna find the ending balance. So we we're gonna find the interest, add it back to the original amount, and then we're done. So and look at here, it says $435 was invested at 2% interest for two years. So what does this mean? Here's what this means. This means that what you're gonna do is you're gonna find 2% of the $435. You're gonna find 2% of the $435. Once you find that, that's gonna be the interest you earn after one year. So let's do that right here. 435 times 0 0.02 do the math here, that's gonna be zero, seven, eight. And then from there, one, two, one, two. So we have $8.70. That's interest for one year. And again, this is simple interest. What I'm about to do here does not count for compound interest, it does not. So we have interest for one year. To find interest for two years, what we will do is we'll multiply this by two. Two years. So once we do that, we'll have ourselves zero, 14, eight times two is 16, carry the one is 17. So this is two years interest. And what you'll do, my math party people, is add that back. The $17.40, you'll add it back to the original amount and that's it. You're set. That is it. So here we go. $435. That was the original amount. 
So that's your principal. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and add the $17.40 because this is two years of interest. And once you add that, you'll have your final answer. So here's zero, four, five plus seven is two, 12. Carry the one, that's going to be five, and that'll be four. So here, $452.40. That is your final amount, final balance in the account after those two years. So 452.40, booyah, right there. But I know this looks like it was probably complicated with all these steps, but literally this is all we did. We found the interest for one year, then we multiplied it by the number of years that were actually in the account, and just add it back, and you're done. That is it. There's another way to do this too. There's another way to do this in literally one step, but this is the straightforward way that a lot of people understand. Simple interest is simple. The interest that you earn in year one is the same that you'll earn in year two, year three, year four, year five. It's the same all the way through. So just multiply the interest for one year by the number of years and add it back and you're good. Here's the other way though. Here's the other way. I'm really excited about this, my math party people. Let me go ahead and take this over here. Let me just make it a little smaller and I'm gonna put it right over here for just a brief moment. I'm gonna show you how to get this done literally in one step. Again, this is for simple interest. So if we're doing all of this, notice what we just did. We found the interest, multiplied it by two years, and then we have ourselves the final amount after we added it back. Aren't we familiar with taxes and discounts where we can go ahead and find the amount then add it back or we can find the final percentage, right? We can find the final percentage and then do one quick multiplication. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. Here's the shortcut way. I can say, hey, look, 435, that's the amount that you have originally, 2% for two years. So if you're doing 2% for two years, well, two times two, that's four. So you're basically you're saying right over here with all of this, two times two is four, you're doing a 4% increase. Because again, it's simple interest. 2% applied over two years simply, so you're stacking. 2% this year, 2% next year, 2% next year, you're stacking it. So that's just 4% total. That's just 4% total. And so, boom, $435 applied with a 4% increase. That means you're doing 104% because again, remember, you always start with 100. So you're saying 104% of $435. And so when you do the math in one step, you can absolutely have the answer. Look, again, this is for simple interest only. 435 times 1.04. Look at the beauty take place. Over here, let me go ahead and make this smaller. So we have five times four, which is 20. Three times four is 12, carry the two. Four times four is 16, carry the one. Then from there, we'll look at the next step here, the zero. So we'll apply the zero right there and we'll keep going. Five times zero is zero. Three times zero is zero. Four times zero is zero. And then lastly, we'll take care of the last step here, the one. So over here, five times one, well, first of all, let me go ahead and fix that right up. The two zeros there. Five times one is five. Three times one is three. Four times one is four. Add that all back and look at what we get. We have zero, four, 12, carry the one, five, and four. We have ourselves two decimal places, one, two, one, two, and we have $452.40. Look at that. I know that looks like a six, so let me go ahead and get rid of that. There's a five. 
And there we go, my math part of people. Look, it's the same exact answer, 452.40, and we're good. I really want to make sure you understand that there are two ways to really conduct simple interest. You can go ahead and find the final percentage, and then from there, apply it. Or you can find the amount of the interest of the number of years, and then add it all back. Either way works, but look at how much more work you're doing. One step here versus multiple steps here. And there you go. So I want to go ahead and show you a few more problems here because this is honestly going to be a very, very useful thing to know. So let's go ahead and say we're doing 710 bucks right over here at 14% for eight years. So I'm going to do this the straightforward way, the, the, oh, excuse me, the shortcut way. If we're, again, this is only for simple interest. This is simple interest, okay? This is simple interest. So what we're doing here is we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, look, if we're doing 14% for eight years, remember that's 14% you're adding to your account, then 14% the second year, 14% the third year, 14% the fifth year, etc." In the previous problem, remember, look, we literally said we found what 2% was, then we multiplied it by two because two years. You can also just take the percent and multiply it by the number of years, and that's the final percent. It works either way, either way. So notice here, I can do the same thing. If I figure out what 14 times eight is, 14 times eight, four times eight is gonna be the 32. One times eight is eight, carry the three is 11. We have 112. Okay, sounds good. So we have 112 here, so 112% increase is what's happening. That's what the increase is. Remember, the, the, the previous problem where we did the 2% for two years, that was a 4% increase. That was a 4% increase. Now we have 112% increase. Okay, it's a different number, but still the same idea. We're increasing from what again? We're increasing from 100%. So we're going to add that from the, to the original amount. And really quick, before we continue my math party, people, I know you're enjoying this. And you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's and no really testing quick, before we continue my there's no pressure. Pressure. I know you're enjoying been time before and you can have you know thousands what to do. of problems that's just like this. In and all of that's program. included in our program, in our program and you more have four main things to help you succeed. Click the link here in this video or in, in our course to learn about the program. To you're going to get questions. access to guide them out. Just get going. Let's get back to the problem. Print out and try or keep them online. And what we're and lastly, final here is speed drills to raise your confidence. Twelve percent. That way, when you take the test. There's so no literally what you're finding There's now. no pressure. Simply because you've been put, time be before, before, you know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. And take that's a brief moment, have to click do. the link here in this, this video or in the description to step, learn about the program doing a bunch and of reach out to us if you have any questions. Might make a mistake. Sign up now. Let's so get going. Boom. We're good. Back to the what I'll do is I'll say, hey, 710 times the 212%, which is going to be 2.12 after you move those decimal places. And now let's get to work here. So zero times two, zero. One times two, seven times two. From there, what we're gonna have up next is we're gonna go ahead and see the next thing here, the one. So boom, we're gonna put a zero here and let's keep getting to work. One times zero, one times one, seven times one. Great. And then lastly, with the two, we're gonna go ahead and put two zeros here. And so here we go, two times zero, two times one, two times seven, 14. Okay, great. We're gonna add all this back together. We have zero, two, five, eight, 10, five, and one. How many decimal places are we moving? We have one, two, one, two. So the final amount in the account would be $1,505.20. That is the ending amount in the account, and there's our answer right there. Look at how quick that could have gone as opposed to doing it the other way. So again, pay attention here. I'm going to show you the exact same problem doing it the other way. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what one year of interest is, multiply it by the eight years, and then add it all back. Here we go. So 
Let's find out one year of interest. What's 14% of 710? Let's find out what 14% of 710 is. Okay, great. 710 times 0.14. So that's going to be 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. And then 7 times 4 is 28. Then from there, we bring a 0 down. 1 times 0 is 0. 1, 7. Here we go. Boom, boom, bam, bam. So when we when you end up getting that done, one, two, one, two. So $99.40, that is one year of interest. That's one year of interest. If you want to know how much total interest you've earned, not the final amount, then you simply take that one year of interest and you multiply it by the eight years. So let me just double check over here that, that it is eight years. Yep, it is eight years. So I'll just take it right back over here and I'll go ahead and multiply by eight. And let me make this a little smaller. We we'll multiply by eight because it's eight years that the money is in the account. So here we go, zero times eight is zero. Four times eight is 32. Nine times eight is going to be what? 72, carry the three is 75. Nine times eight is 72, carry the seven is 79. Booyah, right there. And so what we have here, two decimal places right there. So 795.20, that is eight years of interest. Okay, so we have the amount of the interest. And so what we'll do now is we're gonna add that back to the original amount to get the final amount in the account. Look at how much longer this takes, right? Look at how much longer this takes when it comes to uh, simple interest. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. So we're gonna take the original amount, the $710, we're going to add alongside of it the $795.20. And once we do that, we have zero, we have two, we have five, we have 10, and we have 15. $1,505.20. Oh, doesn't that look familiar? Doesn't that look familiar? So notice my math part of people, there are two ways to get it done. Two ways to get it done when it comes to simple interest. When it comes to compound interest, there really is, uh, I would honestly say, it's still gonna be messy regardless, but when it comes to simple interest, this is honestly very straightforward. You can either go ahead and find the final percentage amount and calculate it all at once, super, straight, super straightforward, or you can find one year of interest, multiply it by the number of years, and boom, there's your total interest. But if you're trying to find the final amount in the account, you need to add it back to that original principal amount because the total amount in the account is the interest plus the original. So with that set of math part of people, I really hope that this makes sense. These are two great examples of doing this. Um, I really do hope that this gives you some, some, uh, some ideas in terms of, okay, when do I want to use which method? That's a great question. It really depends on how convenient the numbers are. But in my opinion, Notice how this one, so much less stressful, way faster, way faster to do it all at once. And so my math party people, here's what you're gonna do next. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna go ahead, move forward into the worksheets, move forward into the speed drills, practice, 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 and practice. Because at the end of the day, being able to speed your process up without being hesitant, without being you know, uh, uh, anxious, that's what we're going for. So keep up the great work, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.